Hello, welcome to my channel. I've lost 180 pounds with keto, carnivore, and counting calories. Thank you for watching. Hey, I wanna start whatever video I'm about to start off with letting you know, YouTube has been deleting some of y'all's comments. Um, who, Elizabeth, um, you posted one about Dr. Berg's video and I, you may have deleted it. Some of y'all may have deleted them. I don't know. But whenever I clicked on it to respond, it was deleted. So I just wanted some of y'all to know that if I don't respond, it's because I clicked the thing to reply and it gets, it's gone. And I go through YouTube, you know, and I look at the video and I scroll down through the comments and it's not there. So I don't know if YouTube it, it takes a word you say as a, insult or something but i just want some of y'all to know because it's been several comments where i click on it and they just disappear so anyway yeah i just wanted to let you all know that before i talk about whatever else is coming up next because i do answer every comment i don't care if you just give a smiley face or what i i smiley face back so if you comment and i don't respond please know that some <coughs> something happened and then go back and see if you see it and if if it's not there by george put it in a different video who knows what's going on but anyway i promise i answer all the comments okay bye okay good morning we are going to do a uh, crock pot i have a big 10 pound you'll see in a second you gotta cut it in half and i'll show you So this is, I buy the 10 pound, 73% um, ground beef. And um, this, I, you know, I put them in the freezer. This one, uh, I didn't, I pulled, I didn't pull it out throughout the week like I us, usually do. Um, so what I did was last night, I just pulled it out and left it in my kitchen sink all night long. I did that. Because, uh, I don't know, defrost and it got, did fine. Um, I think I'm going to need another crock pot. Hold on. So I have several new subscribers and I just want to say thank you and welcome. And like I said in my thing, never hesitate to ask any questions. I always answer my questions and comments as, as long as they show up. So um, please don't think that anything's wrong if I don't answer Ah, the expiration date on this is January 2023. But, everything's in the freezer, so here we go. So now, let me put this, throw this piece away. Yeah, I, uh, I have a quality assurance down here. So yeah, so I leave it out of the, I left it out of the freezer all night. It's still a little frozen, like right here, this little piece. Not so hard, hard, but it's frozen. So then when I make my ground beef, I just put it in the crock pot. Sometimes I use plastic uh, liners, sometimes I don't. Today I didn't. It's six o'clock in the morning. Sometimes at six o'clock in the morning, I can't think clearly. Um, not many of us can. Um, so anyway, so I, I'm breaking it up right now. I'm gonna add some water because I make broth with it. I don't season my ground beef when I cook it because then that way when it's time to eat it, I can add whatever I want. I, uh, you know, I batch cook, bulk cook, meal prep, whatever you want to call it on the weekends. And this way I have this ground beef to use <clears throat> in so many different ways. You can do Mexican bowls, you can do Italian bowls, you can do... Um, Greek bowls, whatever you feel like. So I do not season this, but I need to get my thing for the water. Just a second. Okay. So I add water to my crock pot. One, it helps it not stick. And two, you know, I've got the four dogs. And um, I like pouring the broth over their food. And they like it too. So um, I have broth when it's done. And um, if you want broth for anything, you know, if you need to make a beef broth, 
This is really good for dogs and humans. Um, so yeah, I, I put the water on it. Like I said, it, it helps it not stick, but then it flavors it. And, and you got really good beef broth. Because then it, usually at the end when I'm pulling it out, there's always bits and pieces down in the bottom. So then when I'm done, I'll put it in containers and freeze it. I'm going to crank them up to high this morning. And I've already set my Alexa timer. Um, I've already done it for one hour. So I'm going to, every hour, um, I come in. Usually when it's on high, I do it more frequently. But just for this first hour, I'm going to do it on high. Then I'll turn it down to low just to give it a little push. And then every hour what I do is I come in and I use this and I chop it up. And I'll show you that when I get back here. For you old timers, I haven't done ground beef in a, quite a little while. So we're going to get this going. All right. Bye. So something else I do on my channel is I, when I see something for us keto people or carnivore people that's expensive, I like trying to find a cheaper way of doing it. And um, <clears throat> thankfully, there's other people who have already done what I did. Um, Serious Keto, you can hear that crunch. Listen. Serious Keto is who I saw do this. And I know uh, when I was looking for how to make meat chips, Maria Emmerich, she didn't use lunch meat. She cooked up her own meat and she put it in this little pressurized thing and she made sliced her own lunch meat. But I'm telling you, uh, no offense, but I cannot go out and afford to buy some fancy meat slicer. Other people can, and that is awesome, but not Terry Tootle. So uh, <clears throat> I'm going to be making some more of these dehydrated chips. That was beef. Um, you know, I showed you in my, um, in my haul video. I had bought some lunch meat, and it was beef. So that was the beef one. They turn out black, black when they're done, which is fine. They're, they're, not, they're not burned. So when I first saw them, it kind of threw me off. I'm like, oh man, that looks burned, but it's not. So um, now these are gonna be rotisserie chicken, rotisserie flavored chicken, anyway, something like that. Now these are two cap, two carbs um, in, in, serving size is two ounces. So there's two, two carbs and two ounces. Don't ask me how much two ounces is, I think, I think it said six slices on something. Oh, come on now. Why you got to fight with me here? Ain't nobody got time to be fighting with plastic at six o'clock in the morning. Oh, oh, I think I got it. There we go. Now, nah. <clears throat> you know, these little containers make, make good for putting sandwiches in and stuff. Anyway. It's funny, I'm, I'm not frugal in, in other ways, you know, but when it comes to stuff like this and the, the you know, the those fancy carnivore crisps, meat, uh, chip, you know, meat thing, meat chip things, when I saw that price and, you know, I'm, I'm like all everybody, you know, when I saw it, I'm like, oh, those are cool, I want some, I need those in my life, and so I bought some and they tasted fine. Actually, no, I'm not going to lie. I thought the chicken tasted horrible. I thought it, it tasted gross. I did not like the chicken. Um, the beef tasted fine, but um, <clears throat> I think these taste better than those. However, however, they're not clean. So, you know, which is why Maria Emmerich makes her own lunch meat. But, um, sorry, ain't nobody got time for all that. Especially not me. Well, I do have time, but... Ain't nobody care enough to do that. Well, okay, maybe y'all care enough, but uh-uh, I ain't doing it. As that lady on fate on uh, the Facebook comedy thing says, I ain't doing it. I ain't doing it. So, um, all right. <clears throat> I always like seeing how many slices are in each thing. The uh, so far the roast beef has had 22 slices. Last time chicken had 20. So you could fit five on the thing. And so with the roast beef, I had two left over. Well, I just didn't run an extra uh, extra thing. But um, anyway, and so the dogs get a bite whenever I do roast beef, but with chicken, not so much because there hasn't been enough. But let's see what we get today. 
That's awful thick. All right. <clears throat> Let's see what we get today. Maybe quality assurance will be happy. <clears throat> I let this run. The settings around 140-ish. And I let it run for about eight hours. Um, that's how long it takes for mine to get where I like them. This turkey or chicken is extra, uh, extra break a party today. Well, looky here. Look, will you look at this? We have, I don't know if it's too many, they ain't getting none. One, two, three. Oh, they got three. All right, hold on. Hold on. Let's let quality assurance have some. Come here, Bubba. Now the decision is who gets half. Well, obviously, Biggin is going to get a half of one. Lou, oh, 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 buddy, it fell on the floor. Here, here, here. Oh, no, here, here you go. Come here, come here, come here. Oh, he's sitting. Hang on. I told y'all he just learned how to sit. Hold up. Oh, he just learned how to sit. So, good job. He's so excited to sit. Oh, good job, bud. Good job. All right, so now my, um, my Roomba is just starting up. So now I'm going to put the lid on it. And uh, plug it in. Mine has a settings that are like from this number to that number. And so this one, oh, I have it. Oh, no, that's early. Oh, I turned it down because I ran it overnight. Um, so, yeah, right around 140. And I let it cook for about eight hours. And um, and by then, it becomes chips. So, that's something else I'm working on this weekend, just to build them up so I have some. Um, okay, that's all I can think of for the moment. Like I said, it's 6 o'clock in the morning, so that's all. I am going to be defrosting some frozen stuff. Um, frozen vegetables. I'm not going to meal prep those. Um, they're already prepped. It's just whenever I have my freeze, refrigerator is too full, I have to throw a bunch of stuff in the freezer. So now I'm going to try to chip off with the uh, with the knife some um, some of the the some of the stuff. I'll show you later. It's too early. I can't even talk. Saturday shenanigans. Saturday shenanigans. <clears throat> That's Baxter. He's my sweet little fatty boy, but he's so sweet. I just, I can't get away. I just love him. I love him. And that's Callie. I think that's the only girl in the house. And then there's Sammy. They are just, they have the best time together. <clears throat> They've been best friends since I brought them both home. I got her. I got Callie from a local rescue. I think it was in 2017, 20, hang on, let me look and see. So I got Callie in 2017, the fall, and Sammy I got in the spring of 2018. They thought she was eight, they thought he was two. Meanwhile, I don't think that's accurate. I think she was probably like two or three. If they did because of her teeth were so bad. Then there's Biggin, he's over there just resting. Yesterday was a hard day for him having that, having that potential surgery that he didn't really need to have, but he's such a good boy. I'm trying to zoom out. He's such a good boy. All right, back to food. Now I come in and I bring my chopper. I'm sorry, I'm holding y'all. Listen, I am in my pajamas and I'm about to run to the little Walmart, the Walmart market. I don't care. I don't care. It is 7.15 on a Saturday morning. I don't really care what I look like. My hair is probably a mess, but I want to go pick up an onion for something I'm making. So, hang on. I got to get a paper plate. Y'all are going to be getting rope. Oh, you're going to be getting motion sickness on me. Anyway, uh, yeah. So, and not only am I just, am I in my pajamas, but I'm in pajamas that are for Christmas. Look, Christmas presents and hearts and... <laughs> but, you know, sometimes you just can't... You can't be fancy all the time. My coworker, 
Chantel would just lecture me if she knew I was doing this. I told her that sometimes I go in my lounge pants and she's like, oh, in your pajamas. I'm like, you bet your bippy. She was just mortified, bless her heart. I'd stress her out sometimes because I'm just so, you know, I'm just so me. I just do my thing. Sometimes I can be fancy around people I need to be fancy around. But, uh, okay, we're going to put it down to low. And um, we're going to do it again in an hour. But we got to run to Walmart because I need an onion and a gift card. Question. Do y'all's glasses ever get that little dent in right there where it hurts? I know I've been to my eye doctor before. Or, yeah, and they just adjust the little, they just adjust this little dealy right here. I don't know if she pushes it in or pulls it out. But man, that thing hurts like a big dog. Okay, back to work. So, <clears throat> it's been another hour. And I am going through and chopping it up. I think I said I put this on at 6. What time is it now? It's right about 9. So, three hours with one on, two hours on low, one hour on high. I'm going to take a look. Some <clears throat> times, so the reason why I come in and chop it up is so it doesn't become one big meatloaf. But if you want a meatloaf, just chop it up and let it go. Or don't chop it up and let it go. Let it go. There's a burger you need to know. Um, let me see. Let me turn this light on here because I can't tell if it's done or not. I'm pulling out my childhood spoon. This was our Kool-Aid spoon as a child. See how it's discolored from, it's it was supposed to be this color. See how dark it is? That's the one we use for Kool-Aid. And whoopings. If you know, you know. Let's see. Uh, yeah, the broth looks good. Let me zoom in so you can see. It's pink, but it doesn't look like it's um, raw. You know what I'm saying? So I think... I mean, it looks like it's meat, maybe medium rare kind of thing. But I'm going to let that go. I'm going to go on and put it out into portions. <clears throat> because, like I told y'all, I, oh I microwave this at work. So it does cook for two minutes past. So anyway, all right, we're going to break this down into servings. Hold up. As we know, I am in maintenance. However... That doesn't mean I can just eat what I want, when I want, and as much as I want. Um, <clears throat> this is 73% ground beef. I do not include um, the fat. So while, yeah, I, I, I do use the fatty meat, I, you know, I don't use the rendered fat in the end. So the amount that I've chosen to use for me, and then that works, is I use eight ounces of this 73% ground beef. Now, for the other ounces, like, you know, the higher, the lower fat content meat, I use a larger amount. But, um, that's, that's just what I do. Um, because I weigh it after it's cooked and the calories and stuff that they use for figuring out their calories, is, um, those are from I think it's typically from before it's cooked. So, but I don't include the fat in it. And so, yeah. That's just how my brain works. I ain't saying it's right, but that's what I do. So, I do eight ounce uh, servings, which is around 600 to 650 calories. That's what I do for my main, around 600 ish, 600, 650 calories. All right, I'm going to finish this one and that one. I'll show you how much we got from the end of it. By the way, I know I said I don't put the fat in here. We all know that some of that fat that's in there sticks to the meat. So I'm just saying I don't put all the, the rendered fat into here. So yes, 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 there are, there is some fat inside this. So I'm not saying that I don't have any fat. I'm just saying that I leave the fat, the majority of the fat behind for my dogs in their broth. So, all right, next one. Here is the fruit of our very minimal labor. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 
Wait a minute. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So we have thirteen servings of ground beef. <clears throat> like I said, I don't season it. So when I pull it out before the night before, I could put some barbecue sauce on it and have and some, <clears throat> you know, just barbecue sauce, or I could put some ketchup and dill relish and mustard on it and make it like a burger type thing, or I could pour some um, salsa on it, or I can pour some um, uh, 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 Italian pasta sauce on it. So I can do this anyway because it's not tainted with any flavoring. Now let me show you what we're doing with the broth. So I got 13 servings, which if I, if I wasn't doing other specialty preps, this would be enough for my lunch and supper. They're always the same. So this could be lunch and supper. One 10 pound thing of 73% could be lunch and supper for six and a half days. All right, now let's look at the broth. Usually I pour this out into containers right away. I'm trying something different today because I've been storing it in um, mason jars. The problem is that the fat sits on top and then I have to try to dig it out of that little skinny top. But I know I could get wide mouth jars, but I'm not buying more jars. The jars I have work fine. So <clears throat> I'm going to let this sit out and cool until the top becomes like a solid piece of fat. Then I can pull it out at one time. And then, of course, I'll do what I have been doing and make that into dog treats. So um, that's not a big deal. But, uh, but this way, it's, it's now, it's all done at one time. And then when that's done, I can pour out the broth into mason jars. So then I can use it if I'm making soup, which I don't like soup because soup is for sick people. That is my motto. But anyway, I could use it for soup or like I said, I usually do it for the dogs and there's no seasoning on this. So when I pour this on the dog's food, they're getting nothing but beef broth, 100% pure. So, all right. So that's my meal prep for the ground beef. It's Saturday and I realized I have four pork bones that are frozen. So I'm going to, I have them divided out. So there's Callie. She's in my bedroom. Wild man eats it. Okay, so you go, he goes, he can go a different direction. <clears throat> Come here, Bubba. Okay, these two won't fight with each other. Okay, so Lou's taking his to the couch, and Sammy will take his probably to the dog bed. Go on. You're okay. Those two won't fight or anything. They'll get done probably about the same time, so they've got their bone. Baxter took his outside. Wherever he... Hang on, let me throw this away. So, <clears throat> Baxter might swallow his hole, but see, he's outside. Ignore the pile of poop that's on the on the back patio. Sammy doesn't like to poop in the grass. So Baxter's going to be eating his. You're fine, bud. Go go eat it. You're not getting anything extra. You're all right. I'm trying to zoom out, but I can't get it. You're fine. You're fine. Sit. There you go. Go. You go outside. Go. Go. You got all you got. And then so she will eat hers right here. And they're all separated. Except for Baxter, go outside. Go, 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 go. He got excited because I, I opened the door, so he thinks maybe something else is going on. So, <clears throat> Biggin, he's up there. Sammy Joe is over there. Look at that tail. Look at that boy's tail. Is that good, Sam? It's hard to see his tail because he's dark. Is that good, Sam? I know you're happy, boys. Okay, there we go. To go with the... Uh, cabbage that I bought have that I bought um you know because you know I like my salads I need some vegetables to go on the salad um so I don't have a whole lot of red onions left I have about that many left um so I pulled things out of the freezer I've got this jicama right here and um so I'm going to put it in this container and just kind of let it defrost and then I will, you know, I'll probably cut it up into bite-sized pieces as it defrosts. Jicama, just so you know, when it defrosts, 
it becomes very, very wet. I'm going to try something. It becomes very, very wet, but jicama is actually sweeter to me, it seems like. But remember, I've gone through, nope, I can't do it, but I could break them apart. Um, jicama becomes sweeter after it's been frozen and gets real watery. I do not know why. That's just what I've noticed. You might be try it and be like, Terry, you are full of hot. Oh, okay, that's not a thing. So, there we go. So, I'm going to put it in here. And then as it defrosts, I am going to break it apart in half. Um, but after it defrosts, I will cut it up into smaller bites. So, there's going to be the jicama. And like I said, I'll put that in the... I'll put that in the refrigerator and let it defrost. Let's see if I can get this lid on it. As they so they'll soften up as they defrost, which will make it easier for them, easier for me to get the lid on. Come on, fella. <clears throat> All right, so I have jicama, de some jicama defrosted. What's this? Red onions. I'm going to kind of I probably should not use my knife because what's going to happen is it's going to poke right through the plastic and then I'm going to be mad at myself, but it didn't, so I'm okay with that. Let's see. I should have my gloves on. My hands are going to stink, but you all told me to rub my hands on the uh, on some stainless steel and I think my, well, my sink is stainless steel, so I'll do that when I'm done. So I'll put these back in the freezer. And because I don't, I don't want to take all of the onions out. Because if I don't eat, get to them in time. So I got onions to defrost, jicama to defrost. Oh, and I'm going to defrost some peppers. And again, I don't want all the peppers to come out. Hey, those pull apart real easy. I like that. So uh, I'm going to. Put these peppers back in the freezer. So, as these defrost this week, or you know, the next couple days, I can have a salad. And I've got these things that had been previously frozen, I'll be able to use in my salads. I'm gonna wash my hands and rub them on some stainless steel. Heh, <laughs> you people know something. They don't smell like onions now. You people are kinda smart. I don't care what anybody says about my viewers. Y'all are pretty stinking awesome. ka -chow. Um, So, big boy, he's already done with his. So, he's wandering around hoping that somebody will come out with theirs that he can go eat. But, uh, I hear Callie chomping on her. I think Sammy might be done. But, uh, let's put these things in the freezer and refrigerator. Hang on. Okay, yeah, big one's done. Look, he is getting slimmer. He's starting to, you know, get some... He's starting to get a little dent in there. He used to be a sausage. But look, he's got a question mark on his back. And he's got a little heart on his head. That's my little boy. Like I said, so let's check. Callie is still, she's still chewing. Everybody knows enough not to mess with her while she's eating. Because she will snap at him. And she doesn't care. Oh, Lou, are you done, buddy? What about Sammy? Oh, the boys are done. Okay, okay. All right. Here you go. So the, the boys are all done, but Sister Callie is not. So he's all going, Sam. He's all going, sweet Sammy. I'm sorry, buddy. He's all going, but you did so good. Look at his ghost face. Look at he's got ghost face. It makes me so sad. He's got gray on his nose. And then he's got some hostile. He's got gray around his eyes. It just breaks my heart. I notice Lou's starting to get gray. If you look at his tail, hostile, buddy. Hostile. Even his tail has some gray in it. I'm like, oh, it's breaking my heart. He's seven, and Sammy's seven. Baxter's five, and Callie is, well, who knows how old he or she is. But, um, but here's Camel. <clears throat> this is a sound you always hear whenever you're uh, listening to my videos. He's the one. Look, look, his ear gets down in the water. See it? His ear's so long it gets in the water. Poor baby boy. But soon, yeah, I'm talking about you, buddy. Soon, he won't be able to hear, but he won't be itching anymore. So, yay. Okay, okay, back to the food. Sorry. 
And Mama Dog is done. She says, let me out of this stupid room. So, all right, you ready to go be in there? And then Baxter has to go check it out. He's like, maybe she left a drop. Come on, sis. I got to put my little gate away. I keep it right here because y'all know sometimes I'll cook and I have to block off the quality assurance. Hi, faces. Okay, Mama Dog. I call her Mama Dog. She had puppies whenever, um, when they found her. That's why they thought she was so old because her teeth are so bad. Callie, come here, host it. Host it, let us see her teeth. See, she's got bad teeth. That's why they thought she was eight when they found her. But um, in reality, I think it's because she was living alone and raising puppies without, you know, out in the wild and not being fed. So that's why I call her Mama Dog. Okay, okay, okay. I think I'm done for real. That looks so pitiful. They shaved his ear before the surgeon got in there because they thought, you know, they were going to go in and do surgery. But then when the surgeon got in there and saw the inside of his ear, they were like, mm, nope, we can't do surgery. So, um, <laughs> so anyway, so now his ear looks pitiful. His back looks pitiful. I haven't seen his, his chest yet. Let's see if we can see it. Hold still, buddy. Can we see it? Because he don't let me, like, just look around on him. Well, I can't see it. Anyway, all right, all right, all right, food, Terry, food. So I got this song stuck in my head, and I don't even, I'm listening to Caleb because today is their, um, you know, today is, is they're doing their um, telethon thing or, you know, whatever it is to raise money to get their channel paid or their station paid for because it's 100% um, listener funded. So anyway, they said something about victory, and so ever since I heard it, I've been singing in my head. There's victory in Jesus and something, some, something. He sought me and he bought me with his own flesh and blood. Some, something, some, something, some, something, some, something. And yeah, I don't remember all the words, but that victory in Jesus song is in my head. Okay, now, for real, we're going back to food. <laughs> I lied. That was all the cooking. Okay, have a good day. That's my meal prep today. Bye.